<laughs> oh, that's so good. Uh, I hope I don't hit any people on bicycles. I can't see anything. I wonder if it'll garner more viewers, I'm curious. Yeah, I saw that Dylan, right as I was going live, I wanted to respond, but it would it would it would kill my my live feed like attempt. But I'll definitely check out that photo. <laughs> uh, man, I was there for, I don't know, three hours at least. Sorry I left you guys hanging there. It started raining like five minutes after I got there so hard I couldn't even get back to my car and then I come back and obviously I, mean, I don't blame you guys are gone which I would have left too but we were all cooped up in the garage weird I mean I know that I know about the lake situation I'm sorry I'm trying to keep this thing I gotta pick up some Chinese food that Ashley ordered. Freaking shocking. Ah, I'm still getting eaten by no CMs. Yeah, man, you can thank Zach for that. Zach made that while I was over there at the... Uh, no, Michael, I actually get that question a lot. I mean, not that it's a bad thing or anything. I just, um, really, you'll only get the uh, palms in the same genus, or inter usually will hybridize. Sometimes you'll get intergeneric hybrids. There's an intrageneric, meaning within the genus, and inter, meaning through, you know, between two gen genera. So you, you can get like, queens will hybridize with pindos, you know, butea with Siagris because they're very closely related. Um, coconuts will hybridize. You can get a, there's a butea cost of the coconut, but as far as crown shafted stuff, it's really only crown shaft on crown shaft action because the only one that would theoretically, oh no, I'm sorry, that's not even crown shafted. So. Theoretically, you could hybridize Phoenix with some fan palms, which would be cool. I don't know what would happen there. All right, BRB. I feel like that that thumbnail helps legitimize, like, you know, my channel. Like, it is just me, a picture of me, like, looking at the camera at various angles with. 
what should I try what hybridizing Phoenix with the fan palm? Man, I you would need lab conditions for that. It's not going to happen in, in in nature. If it if it would if it could happen, it would have already happened, unfortunately. But man, I I can't even, I don't even know what would happen. It would put out this mutated leaf that would that guy's riding a bike with no lights on this road. That's like a death sentence. Go. All-wheel drive in action. It's the what the roads are still really wet and stuff. Yeah, there actually is a beauty of coconut. You guys don't hear about it very much because well one, they're, they're very hard to keep alive at a seedling stage, and two, the guys that did it didn't want people to know about it until they could kind of get it out there. It does make it more, a lot more hardy. Butea and a coconut. I don't know because I've always seen it in a in a strap leaf stage. It looks what I've seen. It looks like a lot like a coconut though. Ah, the brights. Most hybrids are mules. I actually just sold a bunch of hybrid seed because it, it was it probably got back cross where you can get a hybrid and you can pollinate it with you can back cross me cross it again with the same species and can get what you call F2 hybrids. There's F1 hybrids, which are, which are the original hybrids. So like with a foxy lady is a Vichia across the Wobietia, or Wobietia foxtail is across the Vichia. Then you can use Vichia or foxtail pollen and back cross it into an F2. Hey, James, what's up? I don't know why your first message was attracted. It just said, hey. YouTube does some weird things, so. No, that's no problem, man. Invite anyone you want. I was hoping to get a vlog done today, but I don't have any. I need to get a few vlogs done, hopefully tomorrow. Thankfully, they're not having a, Ashley's family's not having a yard sale tomorrow, so I can actually got the house to myself. Oh, I mean, I don't want to jinx myself here, but I'm not going to complain about that. It's... Yeah, I heard about this frost warning. That's kind of weird. I mean, I guess it happens. I know it really would, but I don't, I don't think it could be done on a, like the the only hybrid that's really gotten into commercial cultivation has been, you know, the mule. Yeah, no, I wouldn't worry about it. It's not too far for you, Michael. You guys probably have a very similar climate. Maybe you're a little bit warmer. I don't know, depending on lake effect situations. fish in the bridge. I'm trying to remember the last time I saw a frost. I mean, it wasn't that long ago. I'm trying to remember the last time there was a frost. It wasn't, even though it got down close to freezing the, the winter of 2018, I didn't never saw a frost. Seventeen. I want to say uh, last time I can really remember there being frost. In sixteen, I was at my sister's house. I think I think Ashley had to leave early one morning to go back to Cape Coral because she was staying with me in Venice. I think there might have been frost in Venice in sixteen. I don't know. I don't know about Cape Coral though, but. Outside of the city, you'll get frosty conditions. Stopping at this Chinese place, Ashley. I guess decided not to make dinner, so we're ordering food out. That's okay. What is going on here? Is that a golf cart?
it, Eric, it depends on what you have. If what you have is like, you know, hardy to a frost and you don't have to worry, even as a seedling, I wouldn't worry about it one time. If it's a quick dipper, like, you know, it's like 35, the chance of frost. And put it underneath a, underneath canopy and frost won't form on there. It's really out in the open, you'll see patchy frost. If you're, you know, if you're seeing like negative one, two Celsius in a hard freeze for seedlings, you know, that's never a good thing, but. Yeah, I know, right, Zach? All right, hockey's probably is in the playoffs now, isn't it? I don't really follow. I used to say it's the only pro, the only sport I really follow is poker. I used to follow other stuff, but like baseball I was big into. Hey, I don't know what that is going to be right there. Sneaky snake, what's going on? Three on three. Oh, okay. Cool. Luckily, the Chinese place is right on the way here. I would have gone Thai, but the Thai place closes at nine. when you there used to be a there's a high stakes poker player that used to play online and his name was I love the WNBA because he wanted people to think he was a girl and he wouldn't be as good at it uh, poker and it ended up working out for him so whenever I see love the NBA I think of the WNBA like you know it's weird but yeah I figured that you know the time differences can be hard. Uh, with this rain though, it keeps it cool. It's only 73, so that's about 23 Celsius. This is knock on wood. Last time I went to the Chinese, there's a Chinese place right next to us, but we never go to it because it's so bad. This tends to be better. Hoping the food is ready. It's hard. Yeah, it looks like they're kind of closing up shop, so it should be. She called in like 15 minutes ago. Raptors, yeah. No, 73 is nice. Trust me, I'm not. I'm not complaining. Let me see if I can kind of move this so you can see. I don't know how far this thing's gonna. No, they won't go. It'll just fall right off. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go in. Oh, it should be right out. I, the food should be ready. I'm gonna leave the car running and everything. Which is probably a bad idea, but whatever. I've had I've done other things like that.
Okay, I'm back. Oh man, my car's in need of a cleaning. I feel like I just cleaned it. One way to kind of keep, like, you feel like you're getting worried about your food at the Chinese place, greet them in Chinese and say thank you in Chinese, and they'll think you know a lot of, you know, uh, hey, Chris, what's up? Yeah, Zach, Zach made that thumbnail, man. That thing is awesome. Like, it's, it's like, kind of serious, but hilarious at the same time. Where they have this, and I don't know if it's possible to find an unmodified Honda Civic from the late '90s. Is it even possible? From the mid '90s or the early '90s? I found a bone stock Honda CRX with like 260,000 miles on it once. And the guy wanted like three grand. I actually considered buying it because like it was stock. Hard to tell where the median is and the road is here. And the road, they're putting in all this new city water and sewer. This is all in well water before. It's the bomb father. Yeah, and Brandon's gonna make some in as well. And like, you know, I might I might make both of them. The thing is, is like, because Wawa is a brand, I don't know what the laws are. We're we'll just going on veterans here. I don't know what the laws are regarding that. Like, if I make it, and I'm not, I don't know if I make like 20 of them or something. Let me see how well, I'm gonna upload it on the Facebook and see like, I'll plant you a palm you can't refuse. Surprisingly, a lot of people, like, there's people who, who have names out there, like, on Palm Talk called, like, Palm Doctor, Palm this, but no one's ever put Palm Father, so that was definitely, definitely original. Not on my end. On, I think it was Brandon's idea, actually. Yeah, that's, I was trying to get the, you know, with the little puppet strings, maybe have like some little palms on there. No, I'm, I'm actually just going home to, uh, I'm going to see my mom either tomorrow night or, son, or Mother's Day, probably Sunday. The problem is I, I would go up to Venice and stay overnight, but my sister is getting her house replumbed and it's, right now she's on like a, she has to wait because I guess they're backed up, no pun intended. So I can't, uh, like, I don't really want to stay at a house with no running water. That means, like, no washing your hands, no showers. Yeah, man, sure. I mean, I could put it on the Facebook through my phone, so either way. going to be on too much longer so I'm sure that they're please don't let this be like a weird person raid I hope it's I hope this is a positive situation let's see what happens oh now I'm getting tailgated why why is this happening
Zach, I hope that, you know, yeah, I know, right? Sneaky stink. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah, I know, right? I don't want to be pooping outside. Yeah, what I actually do is, if they're tailgating me badly, I just let off the gas and let the car roll down until the point where they just, like, can't handle it anymore. If, if they're, like, being very aggressive about it, I'll give it, like, a quick brake tap. I'm really not a... I'm really not, a, like, a mad driver, but, like, I get upset when people are just playing out stupid. One time I had a guy... And this is when I had a Toyota Land Cruiser. He was, he was uh, tailgating me in a PT Cruiser. And he had pulled out of a, at a dealership. And so I, I brake checked him a little bit harder than I normally would. He actually slid, he actually slid, um, side, like not sideways, but into an angle, came around me and cut me off, then went into the dealership. So I followed him and he's got a name tag on, he works there. It's a Chrysler dealership. So I go in there and I just say, hey, you know, by the way, this guy here, he just cut me off. I mean, I don't know why he did it because if he, got any closer he's gonna fishtail his own car and roll the car i'm sure you guys don't want that to happen and like all the customers can hear me and i'm talking just in the same tone like you know straightforward i don't, I don't know how that you know it's it's kind of unsettling if you're buying a car and you hear you know one of these guys has got road rage with your maybe with your vehicle that's out there you know being test driven for whatever reason I don't know why a PT Cruiser would try and cut off a Land Cruiser. I mean, F, it's an FJ Cruiser, it's not a full-on Land Cruiser, but it's a truck that you're not going to, you know, mesh well with if you, you know, physically run into. So, oh, and James, I finally, this morning, they took all that trash. I called the wrong number, so they didn't show up yesterday. Man, it smelled so bad, especially after rain. Oh my God. Just think of like, you know, an inch of rain and then, like 90 degree heat all day, you know, all day after that for two days, or at least upper 80s or 30 Celsius, let's put it that way. Give you free seed, my friend. I, I I want to put out a dollar amount, but I don't. I think just like giving you a box of like of various seeds that I have, because it really will vary by what you want, and you know. But it's definitely you know worthwhile. It'll you know I'll give you many species. told her that someone tapped my front bumper let's see if she hopefully she's not watching so she freaks out like what do you mean what did you do she hasn't seen it yet okay sounds good Zach yeah man uh, you know whenever you're ready just let me know I got a bunch of sables I can send you you know some maybe some tropical stuff too This is 
is the worst intersection here in Cape Coral. It's just, it's so massive. You feel like you're in this big cattle herd. to keep this continuously rain until, well not continuously, but on and off. I'm gonna take the, I could have sworn I had to go to Walgreens or something. Oh, now we gotta go because we gotta see what's going on with the police. Someone's been a naughty boy. Some looks like a girl in her 20s. Probably blew a light or something, or tags had a date. Nothing serious. I don't know why his door is wide open, though. Yeah, it's still, I mean, it's not pouring. Oh, it's still raining there, James? Oh, now it's starting to rain again. But it, it rained first, heavy first. It must have been an inch and a half of rain uh, when I was out there on the island. someone tap my front bumper so I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna play a, a joke on her. I'm gonna take the she's gonna see the cameras on so she might I'm not gonna say anything more but just know that what is going on? why is there no room here? I've seen this road actually in a, with, a, with a foot of water on it only once in the summer of 16. Ashley, Ashley was here in 17 during Irma and she said it was actually, I took the wrong road. God damn it. How do I still take the wrong road? What street am I on? I'll try not to, Zach. Sorry about that. My bad. Alright, after I play this joke on Ashley, I have to go. I can't believe it's still raining. I had to, like, add soil to pots because... She's at, she's at, the door's already open. Maybe she might not come out because it's raining. Damn it. Maybe she will. So I can order her out. Hey, little girl. I've got food. Alright guys, I'm gonna get going. <laughs> yeah, the door's closed. I, I'm not gonna be able to get her out. She's just not, she just... Alright guys. Yeah man, those 80s are always fun. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. This 
see what happens tonight. You know, I might be in the mood to kind of go on a late, later night. Who knows? We'll see. All right, Sneaky Snake, thanks for watching, James and Zach. I'll get it. I'll, I'm sure I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night, everyone. May the palms be with you.